What's up, everyone? It's Roger James here from the Disc Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about Star Wars The Clone Wars, which was announced it's going to be returning um, next year on the Disney streaming service, which is going to launch next year as well. I think it's going to be about a dozen episodes to kind of finish off the series because they've done about seven series, but the last it kind of ended and then they kind of found some lost episodes that they released, but they never finished it off properly and they feel like they want to go back and finish it off properly, which is certainly a good thing. But what did you think of all of this news coming out? I mean, it was it was definitely a big surprise, but a, a, a good surprise, a happy surprise. Um, I wouldn't necessarily describe it as like found, it's not like these were missing, they knew where they yeah. were. And I think this this has more to do with Disney being like we need something to keep people tied over <laughs> until 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 resistance starts. Give us something good. <laughs> Give us something good. This is something that fans have been wanting for a while. Some of the stories that we're going to get here have already been alluded to in other media. Um, we don't know specifically what episodes are coming. Uh, at least I didn't see any official announcements. But there's we can speculate on several of them. Uh, we should get the duel between Cad Bane and Boba Fett, uh, which I've seen test animation for. It's up yeah. on YouTube if anyone wants to go look for it. Uh, there's the story that was turned into the comic book Sons of Dathomir, uh, which was the final comic published by Dark Horse, and it's the only Dark Horse comic that is still in continuity, which yeah. is actually kind of cool. That was based on, I think, a four-episode arc. I don't know if any actual work was done on it so we might not see it but it is in comic form so it doesn't matter and then the book ahsoka alluded to a fight between darth maul and ahsoka on a battlefield that would have taken place in this missing season and i'm i'm very much hoping that that will be shown because that from what it sounded like in the book that'd be very cool yeah it's kind of like this weird thing about they it's almost like they want to end it off properly finish it off um because you know clone wars it's really odd because it feels like the, there was a that whole generation that grew up on Clone Wars are now all adults, and you know there's a lot more love for the prequels and the Clone Wars now because it's you know it's ten years since that series came out. You know the kids are all adult and they all grew up watching it, and there's a it's really funny. It's like because I look at this as like when all this stuff came out, Star Wars fans weren't happy because it wasn't the classic heroes that we all grew up on. And like now we're having the same thing now with the like the new era with the Clone Wars. Like, this is not what I grew up on, and this isn't Star Wars. Like I've already gone. Maybe I'm doing. A, I've already gone through this once before. It's like yeah, you, it's fine. It'll all link up in the end. It's good. Like the Clone Wars to me was like I watched a few of the seasons, but I just kind of dropped off of it. I got a bit. I didn't really keep me going. But I wasn't the target demographic when it when it launched, and I saw the first movie, and it came out and. The first season is like this is just Saturday morning cartoons and didn't bother with it. I was, and that's, but this series has just grown over the years into a much bigger thing than it was. Well, you know, you go back to that first season, and then you go to some of the later seasons or the uh, the lost episodes they released after the the series got canceled. Uh, the first batch of lost mm-hmm. episodes, you know, which dealt with Order sixty six and whatnot. The the jump in quality, not just in animation but in writing is profound you know the the first couple of seasons they were still finding their voice they had a couple of really good episodes in there but the you know what was the point of the series uh was still kind of being established and then you know they found their groove and you know they would do the uh a couple episodes which were fairly mature you know they'd be war episodes with the clones or with the droids or whatever and and uh people would die and Mm -hmm big violent things would happen and then you would have a couple episodes where C3PO or Jar Jar would show up and do some comic relief for a couple episodes and then back into the war and they found a good kind of like back and forth pace and a lot of the characters started to get fleshed out even though all the clones were the same people started to be like ooh I really like Rex or Cody or Fives or all these guys and you know it it, it slowly grew into this thing and, and it got to the point where when they brought in rebels they're like you better have some clone war stuff in there too yeah you know so obviously we did in the end it definitely feels to me as well uh getting this out for the streaming service obviously they can put all the clone war stuff all onto that and kind of a way of bringing the star wars things it feels like maybe they're like "Mm, we want to bring the clone wars stuff 
bring it up, bring new merchandise, bring bring this era back in properly. It just felt like, okay, we're going to try and just... Because I thought they would, Star Wars was just going to purely focus on the new era. And it's like, nope, they're going all over the place trying to make sure that if whatever you like, there's going to be something out. And also, I wonder if the drop-off between Rebels and then filling in with Clone Wars gives them a bit of a scope to get ready for the next like series of this kind. Because I don't think Resistance is going to be it. I think Resistance is going to be a temporary series. I, I don't... I. That's not uh, because of like popularity or it'll get canceled real fast, but they, they're looking at a very narrow slice of time in Resistance, and it, it looks like it's already going to overlap with the Poe Dameron comic, so mm-hmm. I'm not sure how they can get too much mileage out of it unless they go, okay, Season 1 is the build-up to Force Awakens, Season 2 is post-Last Jedi or something yeah. kind of awkward like that, so... Um, we'll see what their plans are, but I, I would not be at all surprised if we got a, a mid-series between Clone Wars and Rebels, or alternatively, hopefully, we can get a series between uh, Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens, maybe somewhere in the middle of that, maybe instead, uh, because there's 40 years of untouched continuity there, completely. Yeah. You know, the, a couple of books, a couple of comics, and that's it. Yeah, so it's, for me, it's like just, just keep going forward. Stop worrying about filling in all the gaps and stuff. It's like, you know, it's just complicated for general. But I just feel like this series just kind of comes in right at the point when I think like Star Wars actually needed a little bit of a a boost. Um, after all the last two movies and stuff, it's like let's go back, do a little bit of fan service, do something nice, do something safe, but also, I, yeah, just generally it was just seemed to be a very good reaction to it, the way it came across, um, you know, and that thing of like, it's been Clone Wars saved hashtag, and this whole thing of like, it being for the fans, it definitely feels like, this is not necessarily lip service, but just trying to kind of keep everything cool for next year. I also have to wonder if there wasn't a certain amount of uh, keeping Dave Filoni happy, the yeah. uh, the creative director on the uh, television side, you know, he was, he is uh, one of the biggest influencers mm-hmm. at Lucas films right now outside of say Kathleen Kennedy who's the CEO at the moment and uh, you know th- there's a lot of talk amongst fans like oh let Dave Filoni go on and do some of the movies and stuff but I think he does his best work with the television and I think this might be at least a little bit like hey Dave we yeah pet project we 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 know that you're doing this work Dave we love that you're doing this the fans love it so let's let's keep you happy and let you do this yeah. while also putting resistance and together also, and also it does a very good job of reboosting all of the merchandise sales for the oh, entire of for the entire clone wars era and um, is there probably the you, this is just a win 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 it's just and then you got they need stuff for the streaming service it's just hitting i just literally yeah. saw it as like tick tick Tick, tick. Yep. It was like, yeah, this, this let's is- get some uh, let's get some Blu-ray sales for the old seasons. Get the yeah. streaming service sold. Let's get all these old toys back on the shelves. And then you know, for the mobile games in Battlefront Two, yeah. this is a perfect opportunity to be like, all right, we're throwing some new clone soldiers into um, uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes or Galaxy, uh, yeah. sorry, Commanders or you know whatever yeah. else is left in the Star Wars front. I think by the time this movie comes out, Star Wars Battlefront will be. <laughs> well, I think mean, that crew, I, I think whoever's left is not going to be. There's not be a lot of people left. Well, I hope they have another game uh, yeah. that they've learned the lessons of Battlefront. But you know, they have these platforms to take advantage of this. The clones already exist in many of these platforms. Definitely in Battlefront Two, I know they exist in Galaxy yeah. of Heroes. Um, this is an uh, an opportunity to do that that whole cross media promotion that Disney really wants to push very hard. So this is a great move all around. Yeah. I'm really excited about this one. Um, kind of makes me kind of want to make sure I can try, maybe try and keep catch up with one, two, three, four and five. So I can at least understand a little bit more. It's just one of the, one of those things. I think, you know, there's so much produced now and trying to keep up with everything. It's never, and I did, I watched the first season two and just kind of wrote it off, which I probably shouldn't have. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think of the Clone Wars returning. Let's know what you guys think. Go check us out over at DizKingdom.com. Like, follow, subscribe on all the different platforms. James, where can we find you? Find me at HeroicLegacy.com. On that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Laters. Later. Later.